very fortunate to have um, Simon Thomas here this morning to uh, talk a little morning. bit about ICE. Good morning. Um, Simon, tell me about your involvement with ICE. How long have you been involved? Oh gosh, years. Um, when I was back to president in 1999-2000, uh, I was uh, by default a director of ICE and was involved in one of the uh, purchase attempts by another company and obviously kept a very close relationship ever since and hosting the ICC for me is uh, a real treat. Um, so what, what are your main objectives from this week? Uh, obviously you're associated here with the Hippodrome. What, what are the objectives? Um, it's for me, the ice is pearl fishing. There's an awful lot of mud out there and yet there's some absolute gems and it could be a person, it could be an idea, it could be a product. Um, we, we're all in the same industry, we're going the same way and it's made up of these sparkles of uh, genius and you find them at ICE. What, what sort of important messages do you think will, will come out this, this week at the XL uh, for, the, for the gaming community? Um, I hope confidence, because we have an amazing business, we have fantastic products. I think some people are getting caught up within eSports and skill-based gaming, which quite frankly just the next fad in the same way 3D television was and uh, uh, the sort of family-friendly Vegas was in its day. We've actually got a huge momentum, we need to keep going uh, on it and not get distracted by things that are unimportant opportunities. Innovations, disruptions within your sector, what, what, what will we see this week, do you think, on that front? Um, I think the biggest disruptor is, um, quite frankly, skill-based gaming. We've been there before. We, in the UK, we had skill games in pubs. Uh, they're not the solution. They're just part of a product mix going forward. And I hope people don't spend too much time on them. And in terms of the innovations and the opportunities, um, I think it's probably going to be payment methods at this stage. As we move towards a cashless society, we've got to actually enable people to still spend money. T tell me a bit about that sort of cashless society. How, how is that and, and technology in that sphere sort of driving the industry? Um, in a way, casinos have already gone effectively cashless with Tito and gaming chips but it's still the way to pay for them. And the regulators are getting increasingly hung up about uh, whether or not uh, sort of source of funds and um, probity of the money. And I think people actually can use cashless to, to demonstrate this much more effectively. We've got to get the regulators to understand the future um, as opposed to uh, sort of being frightened of it. What do you think, um, looking forward to the year ahead, 2017, what are the sort of significant challenges that the industry faces. Well, I suppose there's not really much going on other than Trump, Brexit, the European uh, experiment finally coming to an end uh, in the next couple of years, I think. And it's, it's, um, there's certainly a lot going on. And, um, and the challenge is to, to, to seize the opportunities when they're there and, uh, and ignore the un un unimportant opportunities. It's just working out which is which. What, what's the week hold for you? How, it, pretty busy week for you oh yes it's uh this week is intense I, i'm actually going skiing on friday and i can't wait um because we've had just gone come through a huge poker tournament with poker stars we've had chinese new year but a few days respite in the middle and then uh starting this week the super bowl was obviously uh for us sunday night early monday morning and then we've got the intensity of the three days of ice which will be uh um, stimulating as ever i'm sure um Talking of skiing, um, this this week has been referred to as the sort of Davos of gaming. Uh, do you think that's an appropriate description? Oh, without question. I mean, this whole business is uh, about people, and um, and when you get the actual cream of the uh, the world's gambling fraternity in one city for um, best thick end of a week, I suppose it's brilliant. And some of the stuff that goes on is um, uh, it's just great. You meet mates, you ch trade ideas, you develop thoughts, and um, I think this week is uh, instrumental in the gaming industry. Finally, then, sort of how important can you sort of encapsulate how important the UK and London is to the gaming industry? Um, fundamental. Uh, the UK is really in the epicenter of the gaming industry. It always has been. It's in the epicenter of time zones. London itself is one of the most important cities in the world. And um, I think a lot, uh, a lot starts here and then goes throughout the rest of the world. Thanks, Simon. Pleasure. Thank you.